In a survey of 2244 adults in a recent year, 1431 say they have made a New Year's resolution, constructing a 90% and 95% confidence interval for the population proportion. So without thinking much, I'm going to open up the proportion stat because of the word population proportion. So go to stat, proportion stat, and one sample, and it looks like, I don't know what do we have. We just have summary. We just have summary of who said yes and who didn't say yes. So go to stat, proportion stat, one sample, and click on with summary. We're going to enter that the number of observation is 2244. That's the total number of people. And 1431 said yes, they made the New Year's resolution. And to make a 90% confidence interval, just change that decimal to 0.90. And that's all you do. The answer is 0.621 to 0.6524. I wonder if I can memorize that. Hold on. I'll have to go screen open here so that I can just look at the number. 0 0.621, 0 0.6524. And for the 95%, I'm going to just click on option and edit and just keep everything the same except for the confidence level. And that's it. The lower limit is 0 0.618. A little bit wider, isn't it? 0 0.658. I remember as the, um, what's this? With the given confidence, it can be said that the sample proportion of adults who say they made the resolution is no. We're trying to estimate the population proportion. So that say that um, it can be said that the population proportion of adults who say they have made New Year's resolution is between the endpoints. Between the endpoints, yep. And that will be it for this problem. There's another part. It says which one of them. So we're talking about the width of confidence. Interval. So as you increase the confidence level, what happens is the critical value gets bigger. So the bigger the confidence, um, what's it called? The the, the uh, higher the confidence level, the wider the confidence interval is going to be. So we have to say 95% confidence interval is wider. And I think that's really it.